So I hope all is well. Uh, this war, I'm going to be taking on what is going to be 4 plus 3 uh, minis. This is going to be 7 fights. For the most part, whenever I am able to take one attacker for my path, I do it. In this case, I was able to do that, but sometimes I cannot. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm going to take on this Sauron right here. It's going to be with Kate. I'm going to be boosting, as you can see right now. And yeah, I usually just like to spend some energy and then just go and do my fights once my energy is full. I'm going to be using the skill special boost, the big one. And then it's just going to be a advanced party boost, but I'm going to use it once I get into the fight, uh, into the pre-fight menu. So yeah, uh, this is just going to be a straight fight, a straight fight, straightforward, because since I'm starting with a power bar, it's just going to be throw the special one, make sure to pause the cold snap, and yeah. So here I, go, I back out from the fight because I want to make sure that the pre-fight is applied because sometimes there's a bug right there. So yeah, uh, just I just need to make sure that I'm not close to him or he doesn't come to me that often. So I'll just try to keep him away. Here I activate the advanced power boost to start with one bar power. And yeah, you're gonna see that we execute how it's supposed to be. So I, I'm gonna be starting with the repulse day and then just throw my special one directly. There you go. Perfect release. And yeah, from now on, it's just like wait for the cold snap to do the job. And pause whenever I have the chance. So you saw he heavy there. So I punish it to pause and another one. So here I keep him away by having him. Now, he could have thrown the special one, however, I was ready to dex him, so I went to Necropolis and practice against him. So yeah, there's that. And there I do the cold, the other cold snap, uh, when he was on special 2, because I knew that I would have the damage and hopefully the distance would make him so he didn't throw it before he was dead. Now we go into the Spider Supreme. Here the fight is pretty much the same plan as against the Sauron. But you're gonna see that I commit some mistakes. So for instance, I was planning on not throwing any heavy because that is the only way, as well as the parry, to apply a debuff, which makes him unblockable because he gets the region buff. You see that there's a mistake. But I'm gonna try my best to not uh, make this fight go horrible. But you know, again, I'm not sure why I charge the heavy because I cannot literally do anything with that distance to refresh the cold snap. So yeah, let's see, let's see what I'm, I'm gonna be doing. Here I put the miss on cooldown. So that then I can go in freely. There we go. And I'm gonna be throwing the special one. For the most part, that's gonna be the job. Um, I do have to say that I do mess up some, I don't finish 100% health. But you know, these things happen. It is what it is. Yeah, there. I went for a parry, but maybe I was just slightly too late. But yeah, the, the idea was to parry, but you know, he hit me, that's fine. And here we throw the special one, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, it was just that miss parry that I didn't register or maybe I just didn't do it at the right time which is probably the case but yeah it was, it was a solo so that's that's great and now here I'm rushing to a spot because I want to use the same par start one boost that I used for the first two fights so you're gonna see that I'm not gonna be backing out and I'm just gonna be hoping that the cold snap the pre-fight applies because I have just just the right amount of time to get the power one applied on the fight so as you can see it's pretty much gonna be the same thing as Sauron I throw my special one and then I'm gonna be blocking so and then just baiting his heavy in order to pause the cold snap and countering with the heavy as well so that I can have the tracking debuff in case he goes untouchable so there's that yes yeah, pretty much straightforward 
the region doesn't really matter because I'm I'm just blocking and I'm not trying to dex everything. And yeah, that was a pretty clean and fast fight. Uh, I have to say that I was planning also on the worst case scenario to bait the special two because that one I can dex. Uh, so I would just hold block and he has two bars of power because the special one I really did, didn't have success fully dexing it while rooted. But the special two, yeah, for sure. I just like to plan ahead for the worst case scenario. And here I'm gonna be healing Kate just a little bit and then use a power, uh, like not, not a power star one boost, but a regen boost. Um, I'm not gonna be using Kate or that wasn't the plan. So I figure why not? Since I have a, like a lot of them stacked up. So yeah, here the same thing, cold snap. With Kate, it's the same thing. You can see that on this one, I do back out from the pre fight menu to make sure the pre fight, the cold snap is applied. And yeah, it's gonna be the same the same thing. Is cold snap, apply it, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. And it should be able to out damage the regen if there is any to trigger that trigger. So yeah, there's that. Here I throw my special one, and since he's corner, he has more chances of throwing the special one immediately. So he does that, and then I punish it to, to pause it. Here he's gonna throw it again, so no need to dex, that's great. Here he's gonna do it again right now, yeah, there is that. I punish it, another special one, and that's pretty much it. The damage is just too much, he's dying right about now yeah there you go so that was a great one uh just this this war video is going to be somewhat long because i'm trying to hopefully have it as a guide uh for anyone that wants to reference it or just for my battle group uh, itself so or just my alliance in general if they want to use it maybe i can help hopefully uh yeah so this one uh pretty much i I skipped forward to when my energy was full again and here the plan is going to be taken on Titania with Red Skull uh, it's, this is going to be on the note that pretty much Titania is always at a special too and has root as well if you don't hit her so yeah the plan here is I practice Dex in the special ones while rooted on Necropolis and the plan was to just hit her and whenever she crossed two bars of power i'll hold block and power burn her uh, with my armor and it's guaranteed that i'll always have one because whenever i uh, me or the opponent crosses bar of power i get an armor above so yeah i can pretty much just power burn her uh, in order to not bait the special two because i that one i'm not sure if it's possible to dex but for me it's really tricky and i i just didn't want to bother so if there's any video that is going to help me with that, I'll probably watch it and see what is the timing. But as far as figuring it out, I think as long as I know how to dex one, that's fine with me. And in this case, it's a special one. So yes, this, that's going to be the plan with Rascal. I was, I'm going to be using the invulnerability boost in case I miss dex any special one or just ate any hit. But first I wanted to show that I went ahead and went to Necropolis and practice. Yes, I wanted the, the enraged timer in order to practice the special one dex while rooted. You can see I was able to get the first one there. So he, yeah, this is gonna be like a minute clip. There, there's another one that I didn't get to fully dex. But yeah, the, the main purpose of this one is that whenever you war, you want to think of every possible scenario. So for instance, uh, the tactic, the attack tactic, I don't really trust too much because uh, either some people say that it's not functioning properly. Um, I haven't had that experience, but yeah, some people uh, say that. So I just didn't want to risk it. So I just went ahead and, and practiced it because I pretty much play every, every single match that is against a tactic defender. As if they are unblockable and I cannot block anything. 
So yeah, there's that. I get rooted. That's fine. I was winning the Haymakers. It's going to be a long fight. Uh, this is a rank 3 Titania. And my rest goal is a rank 5. With the 5 star Hulk Buster Relic, rank 3. So yeah, you see that eventually I get the, the taunt up in order to get the Bulwark passive. But again, like I mentioned, uh, I'm going to be trying to dex whenever I can. Because... I don't really want to take too much block damage. There you see that my Instructable is used, so that's, that's okay, that's why we use it. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. Here she has two bars, two bars of power, so I hold block in order to power burn her, if needed. And there you go, you see? And here I try to dex it. Of course I wasn't able to do it fully, but Rascal is, is tanky, so we're good on that one. Here. Yes, as you can see, I uh, fully dexed it. That was really nice because probably if I wasn't able to do that, that probably would have been the fight. So yeah, I try to try to always practice that because that is gonna give you the greater greater chance of success in this match or in any match really when you are doing war, battlegrounds, etc. So yeah, you see the strategy is the same. Whenever she has two bars of power, I try to hold block. Of course, here she has a haymaker, so I cannot do that. So I drop the relic, the striker, to make sure she doesn't throw it while the haymaker is active. Now she has a special one. There, I get rooted. Being rooted, like regularly, not from a special, I can I can deal with that because it's just a matter of holding block and knowing when the defender is going to use their heavy attack and know how to bait it, of course. Here I just ha wanted to go for the kill. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, one of the uh, main reasons why I'm somewhat comfortable going for the kill whenever the opponent has low health is because I have what is the name of the mastery? Probably assassins that give you more attack when the opponent is below 18% health. So yeah, I do that. And my attack is gonna be increased. So if I think I can one shot, it's probably gonna be a one shot. I mean, just kill. So yeah, the, here the plan with Kindred uh, initially was to just boost fully, use the power back boost so that whenever I throw my special two, um, I get more power in order to throw the special one immediately once the root triggers. I go with an Immortal ability and there's also a Wax free fight. The, the idea behind that is because I need to throw my Relic because the, la the last hit is going to apply a debuff and that one is going to be shocked by Conflictor so that my shock can be applied. Now I have to admit that uh, there were two mistakes one was my own because i forgot to follow the plan uh, and the plan was to of course my garden is safe 200 but i also wanted as you can see my the bleeds are taken for like a lot uh, but i initially wanted to change my mastery setup so that i have max style coagulate and then pretty much never take damage from bleed which would have saved me some health right there and i could have used that health for uh, the final legion but yeah and another one is also that I was um, I didn't calculate the the risk or I guess the the rank up disparity because this is a rank 5 ascended kindred and my guardian is just rank 4 so probably if the root trigger a, a little bit earlier I could have just uh, used a special one immediately and that probably might have killed but as you can see it didn't in this case so in this case uh, I decided to you know what I don't want to give away another attack bonus because an attack bonus is an attack bonus meaning that you're not helping your alliance by losing them even if he has a 1% uh, the fight can get tricky uh, the root or and the Dijin can kill me like instantly. So I figure uh, let me just go with a, an advanced power boost uh, Hit him trigger the 
the undying passive or whatever it triggers root and then have a special ready in order to throw it and then just get the fight done uh, as you can see since i have assassins uh, maxed out i think that's the reason why the root didn't trigger because it lowers ability accuracy so yeah there is that uh just one death unfortunately but you know um, it is what it is of course the fight using the guardian works but yeah there were two mistakes that i will take note of so yeah just no excuses it's, it was my, my fault it was the planning and next time i want to try uh how it would have went if i maxed out coagulate i probably would have one shot in that case and the rank disparity wouldn't have even mattered is what i'm thinking but yeah now here we have a domino it is on this node as you can see over there that i'm showing i'm gonna be using red skull and just like every other fight and how i've been mentioning it um i play it as if i cannot block any special so yeah you're gonna see that yeah because when i get rooted even though i may or may not have the bulwark passive i go for the decks because yeah i just want to rely on on myself there you can see that she didn't punish me thankfully uh i forgot or maybe i just wasn't focused enough to pay attention to the falter but yeah from now on i will be very cautious of, of it here whenever i have the unstoppable i like to hold block in order to whenever they come in i punish them here we'll go for the pause for the shocks there you can see that by using a special the falter was actually applied on her so that's great here i walk i go for another pause for the shocks to keep the steel be ticking right there there are decks is special too right rooted uh, yep and yeah she's almost dead there i throw a heavy for the falter to apply on her and not on myself and yeah that's pretty much it that was that was that domino not bad at all uh yeah i i actually wanted to try rescue for a long time yeah that was that was my work hopefully that helped